Despite threats by Somali Islamists to carry out further attacks in the country, Kenya will not withdraw its troops from Somalia. Islamists from the Al-Shabaab organization have claimed responsibility for the siege in Nairobi, which left 72 dead, including five militants and nearly 200 injured. The crisis is the biggest security challenge yet to face President Uhuru Kenyatta, who inherited concerns linked to the spread of militant Islam when he took power in April this year. Joining us now from Nairobi to discuss this further is retired major in the military and a consultant on security reform in East Africa, Charles Mwanzia. Charles, thank you so much for uh, making the time to join us. In your view, has the government handled this crisis adequately? In my own view, I think the government handled the uh, crisis professionally. Now, let's also look at whether there was a security lapse uh, in Kenya for this to have taken place. Do you think that the ball was dropped somewhere? Indeed, unfortunately, for the terrorists to have attacked uh, gain access to West and there must have been some form of a security lapse, which I am very, very sure that it's uh, adequately, it's going to be handled and uh, the machinery is going to look at it and we'll be able to rectify this for uh, future occurrences to make sure that it will not happen again. Of course, uh, and so, of course, uh, Charles, one would also have to ask the question whether there's a reason to be on a regional alert. Are other countries in East Africa on high alert at this moment? I believe, uh, like before, every time there has been an attack in the region, most of the regional countries always take uh, all the precautions to make sure that it does not recur and particularly happen again in their own areas. And I believe at the moment that most countries are high alert, they are put, uh, I believe they are put adequate security measures to be able to uh, mitigate the likely attacks. If we look at uh, what the strategy that President Kenyatta is likely to deploy as he and his uh, team seek to come out of this crisis, what are the first orders of priority that you think they should be focusing on to make sure that the country comes out of this crisis whole? I believe the government uh, focus now is on the bereaved, uh, to assist the bereaved families. At the same time, I'm certain that uh, the government, and particularly His Excellency the President, is taking it as a priority to uh, enhance security in the country. And the, uh, likewise, the members of the uh, security will take all the precautions, I believe so, to make sure that uh, such an occurrence will not recur again in, you know, any time soon. You know, speaking earlier, Charles, to one of my colleagues in Nairobi, uh, they made a point of pointing out that there was quite a, a, an, an absence of information sharing at this time. Um, are, do you concur with that sentiment? And uh, do, you, do you think that uh, there's more that the government could be doing to ensure that uh, citizens are kept abreast of developments? I believe the measures the government took to have the cabinet secretary for interior to be the one responsible for releasing information it is very absolutely very very important that uh, that happened and that the inf 